Greetings from Hoya Laser Technology, Royang Co Limited. So in today's episode, I'm going to show you the battery module production line and also the battery pack production line. So this whole production line, um, the efficiency can reach like 12 ppm. Efficiency is like pretty high. So if you're actually looking for uh, high efficiency and high automation, just uh, stick around, okay? So let's jump into the first workstation over here. This is called the cell QR code scanning workstation. Oh, and also from this area, it's actually, this is the area you have, you need to hold for your battery seal. So you have to remember that the floor have to be strong enough to hold all the battery, okay? So this is the first workstation. It's called Cell QR Code Scanner. Over here has a scanner. And then once the scanning is done, the floor battery seal will directly go into this workstation. This workstation is called OCV sorting. So basically this workstation will testing the voltage of different battery cell. So when the battery cell is qualified for the next battery design, it actually will go into next station. But if the battery cell is not meet the requirement of the voltage, it will directly go into here for the buffering. So this is the place where we call it NG holding or NG buffering place. When the battery cell is being detected for the voltage, it will directly go into here to testing the polarity. So this one is actually detecting for different polarity of the battery cell. When the polarity is not meet the requirement, there will be a grab to flip the battery around. This part is actually for manually. So we're designing for workers, apply this kind of a glue strip on the top of the battery cell. Now let's move to this robo arm area. The number one robo arm will grab four battery cell and then put on this rotary table, four. And when the rotary table is full of the battery, usually it's like each one is like eight batteries or 10 batteries or 13 battery or even reach 10, 16 battery. For this one can reach to 16 battery for each lane. So when this one is full, this side table will rotate for another side. So this number two robot arm will grab this small battery module and then move on here to this one, two, three, four, what we can see pressing table or stacking table. And then when this battery is on this location, it's actually from this pressure to press the, um, all the battery cell to put them together. The work is actually installed the steel built on the top of the battery cell to fix the battery to make it not moving. Because the battery module can be really, really heavy, so you just cannot have people to move around. The robot arm will grab the battery module and leave on here. So the battery module is actually on this workstation. It's called battery terminal pole photography. And you just open this door. See, we we'll have like battery cameras. Closer look. We can actually have this battery to uh, take pictures of each terminal pole because there will be a one mark point in the center of different terminal pole, and then we'll track all the positions of the terminal pole and then share the data to the rest of the two workstations. What is the camera is working? Pole 7 and then pole 8. What has the X and the Y and then track the numbers, the positions of the battery terminal pole, and then transfer the data to the rest of the workstation. And now, this is how we are testing for the battery pole, uh, or not battery pole, like battery module insulation. This is the workstation is designing for, the testing the whole battery module insulation. Okay. After we testing the installation of the battery module, so this workstation is called the terminal pole laser cleaning. It's basically just like cleaning the dust on the top of the terminal pole. Okay. Okay, let's go. And this workstation is for this workstation is for kind of like manually, you know? So when the battery module is being laser cleaned for the per-terminal pole, uh, you can actually have the workers to install on the top of the battery pole, and then we will have this bus bar, uh, and then we'll just manually put the bus bar on, the, on this different kind of design, according to the design over here. Okay, and you will just do the laser welding from here to the battery pole. Let's go. So this workstation is for the laser welding workstation. Usually we will use 6,000 watts and uh, four pressing hat to laser weld all the bus bob together with the battery pole. And then from here, we have like EOL testing workstation. And then we have, from here, it's actually is the place that you can just move the battery module through this crane and then transfer to the battery pack line. So from here, it's actually is the battery pack line.
in the battery pack line, they're usually gonna be, let me think, four parts. First part, you will have the battery at the bottom pack, you pack online or unloading. And then the workers on this workstation will have will have this kind of alcohol clean the lower pack case. And then the lower case will just go in round to the second workstation. And from here, it will actually install the insulation strip. And then let's move to over here. We'll actually have the strip. They will apply the strip, like two strip, uh, I think like four, four strip on the bottom of the battery pack. From here is what I said just before, battery module transfer from here to the battery pack bottom case. So this is kind of like liquid cooling. We also can support liquid cooling, air cooling, so it depends on your battery pack design. And from here, the rest of the battery pack production line will be, you can install the high voltage wire and then the low voltage wire, and then you can actually install the BMU, BMS is all you can do on this battery pack line. So this is the whole battery pack, um, volume and pack production line. We can support like reach to 12 ppm, and the efficiency is actually high and automation can be really high. And the most important thing, we can actually do the customization as for your request and for your location.